I was my wife, my sister, my two kids, they went to the hospital myself now. The anguish of a man going through a life-shattering emotional period. Misery is written all over the faces of the family who have just lost two of its members. They are not alone. Other members of Ozubulu community share this pain because they are also exposed to the agony of loss. Almost every family in this community share the pain one way or the other. You are not your cousin, your daughter, your daughter-in-law. So anger is everywhere. The shock of the shooting at St. Philip's Catholic Church on the 6th of August, in which 12 people died, still vibrates through the community. The people, though downcast, are slowly coming to terms with their fate. This man had plans for his daughter's future, but all that has changed. I'm unhappy that what is happening, and that we cannot fight God. All my prayer is that let God approve those people that did, that did these things on Sunday. At the hospital, the death of one of the 22 rushed here dampened the excitement of recovery of the others. The chief medical director briefed on the condition. Um, two people have been discharged. Unfortunately, we lost only we lost one who had a, a, a woman who has a multiple gunshot injuries in the chest and abdomen. She was operated upon, but. Um, the injuries were quite uh, severe and multiple that uh, she eventually succumbed some hours after the surgery. Others are recuperating. Since the incident, there has been a heavy presence of security agents. Going by the fear the experience has left in the minds of the people here, the police are welcome to stay for as long as they want until those behind this are brought to book and they can feel safe again.